What's up YouTuber? Welcome to Jan's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Yes, Chu's here today. Before we get started, I just want to bring up that we've got a cookbook for sale. It's only for sale and it's only ever been for sale on our web store, chinandchew.com. We also sell the ingredients that the Chinese takeaways use on there as well. So if you would like to support the channel, head over there. Prices are really, really, really reasonable. Um, we're pretty much one of the lowest priced um, Chinese online superstores. So if you could check us out, that'd be awesome. Back to normal. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as Malaysian and Chinese street food at home. Uh, today, what are we doing, Mum? Today we're doing chicken with yellow beans sauce and cashew nuts. Yeah, there we go. Um, surprisingly, not many places around here actually do this dish. It's just people who love it seem to go mad for it and those who don't really know what it is never really try it. And those of you who haven't tried it will get a chance to try it by making it yourself at home. Yeah. So we'll get on with this. So here you have the ingredients. We've got cashew nuts, cashew nuts as many or as little as you like. Obviously because you're cooking at home you can afford to throw in as much as you want whereas yeah. a normal takeaway will go quite... Cut measures. Yeah, yeah. We have one and a half heaped teaspoons of yellow bean. yellow bean paste. Today we're using the Amoy that's available on our web store. Um, we've got about uh, two teaspoons of light soy. I'll be adding this to flavour later on, so I probably won't be using all of it. Red chilies to garnish, half a teaspoon of sugar, third teaspoon of MSG, half a teaspoon of garlic puree. If you don't know how to make the garlic puree, we have a video on this below, but you basically just blend garlic up with some salt and vegetable oil and then leave it to sit for about at least 48 hours. Water chestnuts, again we sell these in the store. White onion, about half of a small one there. Bamboo shoots, again we sell these ones on our web store. Carrots, and I've just cut them like this because... Give it a just, bit of shape. Well it's very, it's very 70s isn't it? And I just thought it would be quite cool and retro for photos. Uh, we've got three stalks of spring onions there. Got about 200 mils of water. Potato starch slurry, so there's about equal mix of potato starch and water in there. And the reason it's in the jar is because it always settles on the bottom, but if you do this, it's all mixed back up and you just pour it out. Nice little tip there for you. A poached chicken breast. Uh, the reason why we poach the chicken breast is that this is what uh, takeaways used to do all the way up to maybe like the early 90s, because 80% chicken took over the scene then. So that's 80% chicken, it's just chicken that's been pumped with water and it makes it really tender and soft. Uh, this is the closest you can get at home without going to wholesale and buying it. Some places like Morrison's and Tesco's actually do sell 8% chicken. It's actually more expensive now than it used to be. 8% chicken, and because it is so tender and used so heavily, is now more expensive than uh, fresh chicken. When you poach the chicken, do not let the water go over 90 degrees C. If you can keep it below 80, that's better. And you're going to need a probe to make sure the chicken doesn't go over 74 degrees C. And that's the way you get it tender. And what that does is it um, locks the texture of the chicken by poaching it. And the moisture as well. Because it's the speed at which the cooked chicken cooks which makes it go tough. And then we have uh, about a tablespoon of vegetable oil here. And we'll show you how to make this into... Um, a dish. A dish, yeah. A delicious dish. The delicious dish. A delicious dish. A delicious dish. Right, so into your pan you're going to want to put your oil and when that's hot you're going to want to add to your onions. So now in go the onions. You're just going to brown these off. Then in go your okay. chicken. And again you want to get some colour on there. Now this is where a few of you are going to go mad at me. But if you put these in too late, they still taste good, but they don't taste as good as if you get some colour on them in the beginning. Sit in these go. Spring onions also sort of flavour the oil a little bit when you put them in early. Yeah, it's nice. When you can start smelling them, that's when you put in your carrots. We're not going to use all these, we're going to probably use you. 
now. Now I'm going to add my MSG. I'm going to cook for about a minute, two minutes. If you want to head out and check out, check out our review channel, we just did a blind review of Lucky Boat and Lion Brown noodles. Um, because a lot of people said there's no difference, just one's cheaper. So we thought we'd put that to the test. Um, that video is up there now. I'll put a link in the card here for you to um, head over and see that. And go your bean sprouts, or bean sprouts, bamboo shoots, and your water chestnuts. I might put a few more water chestnuts in. Again, we're just gonna put a little bit of colour on these. Yeah. I forgot to tell you we're starting going back through our back catalogue and doing best versions because as you know, as it stands at the moment, we're doing just like the standard one, the most likely version of getting the takeaway. We're now going back and doing what we consider the better versions. Yeah. I forgot to put the garlic. In goes your garlic. You got a And your cashews. We want to leave some of these for later on to garnish, to garnish the, top. the top, yeah. Always taste your food. Sugar. Touch sugar, okay, half a teaspoon. And now we're going to thicken it. Now, so the most eagle eyed of you out there will notice that I forgot to put the garlic in, so I added it to the sauce, but it's actually worked out quite nicely. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm just going to put a touch of light soy in. So that's probably about a teaspoon. And there we go, we'll dish up now. So yeah, you should have added the garlic in just before you put the water and cooked it off for 20, 30 seconds, but it, it cooked out nicely in the water anyway. Um, in my defense, I am hung over, so... So here we go. Yeah, we're going to try it out. Yeah. Looking forward to this. I can see why so many people go mad for it. It's very similar to um, spring onion and ginger, isn't it? Yeah, I do. I think some of you may have tried uh, the cashew nut before, but with the yellow paste, bean paste, it's bring up the the flavour of the cashew nut more. Yeah. The bamboo shoots also mm. they work really well with the the yellow bean. Yeah. Doesn't it? Mm. It's it's got a, a very similar flavour. It's enhanced the flavour tremendously. If you want to give this a go by all means do, let us know how you get on. We plan to do a live stream soon, so any suggestions on what you'd like to see us do live. That would be brilliant. Press the like button, comments. Happy cooking, happy eating. Cheers, guys. Thank you.